Well, it's Saturday, that means it's wedding day, and uh, we're on our way to a wedding at the Pensacola Naval Air Station Officers Club. It's been a while since we've done a wedding there before, but uh, we're heading back out there today to do a, a wedding reception only. Now, you can notice here on my windshield, it is drizzling a little bit. We are expecting some rain to uh, come through, so I'm hoping I can get down here and get everything at least loaded in before the heavens bottom out. So it looks like that might be happening here before too long. I looked at the radar right before I left home, and it looked like it was gonna be uh, pretty much raining the rest of the afternoon. So if I can get there and get everything set up and all that good stuff, uh, that, that'll help out a lot. Now the facility though, uh, they do have an overpass to where I can uh, park the van and load everything in, but it's just gonna take longer if I do that. But if that's what I have to do, then that's what I have to do. It's not gonna be close to the ballroom where I need to go. So anyway, it's about uh, 10 minutes till three right now. And reception is supposed to begin about 4.45 this afternoon, roughly around there between 4.45 and five. So we're gonna get there in plenty of time. We're gonna get set up and I'll talk to you once we get there. Okay, here and set up, and like I said, we've been here before. We're at the uh, Pensacola NAS Officers Club. Now, last wedding I did here in this room, they had the DJ table set up way over there, if you remember that. That's probably about, I don't know, I guess it's close to three years ago. But anyway, here's my setup tonight, and I'll just show it to you. We've got me set up here on the stage. we got the Revo 3, the Revo 4 here on the floor. It's been shining up on the ceiling. Black's in 3D right there. We've got the Revo Sweep right there. And here on the, the speakers, you find something uh, that I did earlier this year, and I like it. I've actually got the uh, Revo Reigns here, and they're going to be actually lighting up the dance floor. So, you see we got them here to uh, shine on the dance floor and add a little bit of, uh, of a light out on the dance floor. So anyway, here's what it looks like tonight. Okay, real quickly, uh, Brian did a video just a few weeks ago talking about, uh, you know, where to set the DJ up. And you know what? This is a perfect location. Look at how we got the DJ table set up right there on this stage. Right here is the dance floor. It's perfect. And I've done weddings here where they've set the head table up there. And like I said, they put the DJ back over here in this corner, which, you know, really wouldn't do the lights or the sound uh, any justification because it was real hard to set up the speakers and stuff when you had it set up over there. But see how they got the DJ table set right here on the stage? And they put the head table right back there. So yeah, this is perfect. This is great. This this is a classic example of a perfect setup for a DJ. Okay, it's about 5:30 now. We got people starting to show up. Bride and groom haven't shown up yet. And when they do, we'll be doing the wedding party introductions here in a little bit. So uh, yeah, it looks like we're gonna have a pretty good crowd here this evening. And I still think uh, the DJ table is set up in the best place it could possibly be set up right here in this room. This is perfect.
dance right now. I've explained this in other videos how we do this, so this is something really uh, I get a lot of requests for. Now, just a couple notes about the wedding this evening. It went great. You saw everybody out there dancing and having a good time, and that's pretty much the way it was the entire evening. And I tell you what, just one of the nicest brides and grooms I have ever worked with. And I talked to the groom for a while, and of course, I've gotten to know the bride over the past couple of months. We've been planning this thing out, and her mother was real nice as well. She came up and thanked me several times. But just, uh, just overall, just a great group of friends and family. The father of the bride thanked me as well, and you know, it was just a very positive night. You know what? And this is one of those weddings that really makes you feel good and really makes you feel good about what we do. You know what I'm saying? When you know that you put a smile on a bride and groom's face and all their friends and family had a great time, then you know that that's making memories, and that's the best part about it. That's why we get into this business. It isn't all about, you know, just getting there to uh, set up and uh, play music and show off a live show and all that good stuff. You know, we're actually making memories here for a bride and groom and all of their families, and that's that's the way we got to look at this and uh, to me that's the most important part of this job it, it isn't really the gear it isn't really the light show or anything like that it's knowing that you've made a bride and groom happy and all their friends they're gonna be talking about that for years to come and knowing that you're a part of that that's something that's real special so anyway we've got more uh, gig logs to come so until next time practice and enjoy <laughs>